Hey there guys and gals, Steve with Susky Fishing. Uh, just do a, a little video here on how I was rigging some of the uh, baits that we were using uh, fishing in the Susquehanna and uh, Juniata and uh, the uh, Harmon Lakes and also Walker Lake. First I want to show you the stone cats. I have two here rigged up. The one on my left here has a football head jig in it. And the chartreuse colored one on my my right hand has a mushroom style jig head in it. Open hooks. You just thread them back through the body. Bring them out behind the fin back here and you'll have an open hook and then you can tie directly to and I've used with uh, swivel in it and so forth also uh, depending on which uh, fishing rod and reel I'm using So again, as far as the heads and uh, stone cats, mad toms, whatever you want to call them, have a mushroom head, and we have a football head jig. And you can use these for other applications, that's what I'm using for the mad tom situation. Okay, get these out of the way. Okay, on the Locket Wacky Worm 6 inch job. How I was rigging those up was using the 1 8 ounce in the river, uh, what they call 1 8 one eighth ounce sled head jig. There's what that looks like. Has a lead weight on the bottom here. Uh, these are uh, from a uh, company out in the Pocono area called Wacky Worm. I'll put a link to them. Basically, you need to end up calling and asking them for about their sled head jigs. I think you can get them without uh, the, uh, they come, the ones, when I got them, they came with what they called a hitchhiker uh, pin to it that you would uh, use it and screw into your bait. I went, took them all off and replaced them with uh, ones from Owner. They're a medium. It's a centering ping spring block. And what's neat about them over just the hitchhiker that just has the coil uh, that you wrap it on is this has this they had the coil, but then they came back through and put this pin that you can actually center your worm or bait, whatever you're using, your swim bait, and you just push it in there. And you just proceed to turn that, ouch, without getting caught by the hook, on. And then you take it, and I bring her back here, lay her up along the side, put my thumb there, and then come back about a quarter, bring that up, and then I just lock it in as a Texas rig.
and now you're hooked up it's weedless when the bass hit it or your fish hit it it just pushes that down opens that hook up and you catch them so like I said just tuck that into the worm and there's your rig and then when this is going along the bottom of the river it bounces and I use the 1 8 ounce in the river also has some 3 16 designed the same way I use them in the lakes where you got deeper water and so forth like that gets them down through as they fall down through this wiggles and and shakes and so forth a lot of times you get hit with them dropping in the river it's usually after they're down and working along the bottom because it sort of will keep it up and then with your this tail of the worm in the water column it just flutters as it move as you pull it through the water jerk it just uh, wiggle your rod tip and that also can also do a uh, swim bait on this same hook. Again, here's a, a, a locket, little, uh, I think it's a three inch swim bait, chartreuse. And you just center that in. Just turn that swim bait nose. Up there till she's tight. And again you come back through here. And I look to see where the bend of the hook's at and come back just a little bit further oops over judged that one back there because these have an open belly and I just push him up through try to make it there you go got him right in the center which is what you want again just tuck that nose that in and there's that swim bait and it can work along the bottom that tails up wiggling around if you retrieve a little faster it'll stay up and bounce off the top of the rocks like I said on the mad toms with the type of jig head whether it's a football or the mushroom it's going to have them down with their tail up wiggling around and the or the football is the same way but then you're a little more apt because of the open hook that they could get uh, caught up they do have uh, both of these mushroom and the football with a weed guard on them I don't have any of those at the present time that might be something to try out so I hope that little uh, few of these little tips will help you out in your next uh, fishing adventure and uh, this is Steve, we'll uh, talk to you soon and remember, take a uh, child out to the outdoors, whether it be fishing, hunting, camping, whatever, and introduce them to this great world that we experience and love so much. And remember, a smart fisherman is a learning fisherman.